Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, today I'm going to shoot coffee. <laughs> Actually, we are shooting the Böser Kater coffee gin today and Wilke is sitting right next to the camera. He's helping me out today with this video. Um, I'm shooting on the Canon EOS R 85 millimeter, 1.4, this is the lens, but I'm not shooting on 1.4, I think right between 2.8 to 5.6 depends on what i want to have in focus because as you guys know i'm shooting multiple photos and i put them together afterwards in photoshop that i'm going to show you also and i'm going to show you around the behind the scenes stuff because right now i'm shooting on the sony 6000 this is the main angle camera for the behind the scenes and this year is the sony 6300 but this is Wilkes one and he added the ninja she whatever Hi, what? shinobi. shinobi the ninja shinobi monitor on it and we've got rigged up a zoom with a mic over there so hopefully the sound is good I don't know you can see the photo right here but me in the present the present Benny I haven't done any photo yet so this is a setup and we are going to place all the different stuff into it right now i'm going to show you this in a kind of hyperlapse thing i blocked the sun over here so we are not completely in the bright sunlight because it's yeah midday and the sun is shining really bright into this window so i just put a black bed sheet on it yeah i'm shooting tethered with my macbook pro as well and yeah we've got these two soft boxes you, you know them really cheap stuff like 50 bucks or maybe less for both of them but i would say let's jump right into this uh, the action and we are going to prepare this to be an awesome shot later <laughs> <laughs> In a world full of coffee gin, there was an aperture light which lit the grinder perfectly. So we can put all of these together in Photoshop. Guys, have a look at this. I decided to go to the hairdresser when uh, this pandemic stuff here is over. So maybe you see myself with long, beautiful hair in the future. <laughs> no, just kidding. This is actually the scene uh, we are decided to make. So we've got the non light in the back. It's going to lit the background in this beautiful warm color and this orange tint. The bottle in the middle of the frame. We also shot the bottle um, before the whole scene was, was finished completely alone so we do not have any kind of refle reflection or blocking from both sides then i used this little aperture mc light here to lit the coffee grinder so i put my hand in the frame and just lit the coffee grinder because i'm going to stamp it out in photoshop later anyways so it, it doesn't matter if my my hand is here because i just need this part of the picture um, to put it all together later so i, I stitch a bunch of photos i think like three to five photos together in post later so um there's also the reason this glass here is empty because i just have this one bottle and obviously the bottle has to be full um, for the photo for the product shot and so we just took the finished final photo the final photo because the real final photo is the photo where i'm going to open it and pour it in because we do not use any kind of ice cubes or anything like that because it's a coffee gin and on the label it says like drink it as a shot or drink it in coffee so i decided to use this Böser Kater glass here to yeah 
pour it in like a whiskey thing, yeah. And then obviously afterwards it's kind of open and not so beautiful in full anymore. Placeholder coffee bean. So obviously when you do things like that where you need the camera in like on the perfect point not moving then make sure that your batteries are charged fully charged like mine i'm a great example for that <laughs> <laughs> not so now what ra so now let's say let's jump right into photoshop and lightroom and i show you how we stitch everything together and make a beauty out of this baby First, guys, I'm really hungry. I need some pizza. So I actually just tasted this coffee gin here. And it's pretty good in coffee. Hmm. So let's jump right into Lightroom. Um, I created this new folder, or actually the program did it itself, the tethering program made an, uh, made an own folder and it just drag and dropped it into Lightroom. So these are actually all the photos I've taken. And what I do now is I'm going to rate them with these stars. So I use my keyboard for that. I hit one if I don't like the photo, two if it's a little bit better. And yeah, I hit three if I like it the most. So I've got five photos left, all with uh, this three star rating. And I use them now to um, yeah combine in Photoshop. So what I do now is add it in Photoshop 2021. Photoshop is going to open. And now you can see I already put all my different photos on one layer. So I already did this. So you can see I renamed them with like final lit gin glass. So you can see I put my aperture now on top of this. And I use the stem tool now on the O of Böser Carta, um, I stamp it out and I use the same O on the final masterpiece to stamp out the gin, the final perfectly lit gin, which I have from the other um, from the other photo. And that's actually what I do with every single um, part of this collection of photos. So I'll use the lit gin glass to make the perfect gin. Now you can see I use the stem tool to copy the coffee grinder because I also lit this perfectly with the aperture light. And, and then I use the bottle also because I shot this with a little bit higher f-stop. So you can see it's a bit sharper on the edges. It's a, it's a bit less blurry. And so you can see the label perfectly. Here then, last but not least, I use also the stem tool. You can also use the healing brush tool or the healing spot tool to do this. But I used um, basically the stem tool to yeah, just get rid of those tiny little, not so good looking pieces. And when I'm happy with the result, I'm going to hit save. Not save as, because that means you get a new file and you don't want to get a new fo file. You uh, just want to um, yeah, transport this image from Photoshop right back into Lightroom. And so now you see it's back in Lightroom and everything is perfect now. So you've got a second picture on Lightroom where everything is like you did it in Photoshop and now you can go on with a color grade. So I'm going really quick over that. So it's just up to you what you, li you like. So I start with a um, white balance and then I also use the brush tool to light up some of the parts of the picture and maybe get a little bit of clarity into it. So I can basically manipulate the whole picture and it's no problem. I also can use the radial filter that you see here to just get a little vignetting and I use also the healing tool inside of that to get rid of this tiny little bits which I maybe forgot in Photoshop. 
and then a bit of cropping, a bit of straighten up the image and voila! This is the final result and I think this looks really dope, right? So that's it for today guys, thank you so much for watching and as always like, subscribe if you haven't already and if you are into photography, filmmaking, videography, all those kind of stuff then I would appreciate your, subscri your subscription. Yeah. So like, subscribe, leave a comment down below and I think that's it. Hit the bell, okay, and I'll see you in the next video. I can reach it. I know we're acting stupid.